today I've uh, come down by the river. Um, I've been here before, obviously uh, shooting the bridge over there, uh, but I've never come far down this end uh, before, so I'm heading down here to see what I can find, and uh, I'm seeing quite a few cascades, which is brilliant. Now I've come across these cascades here. Um, you've got water flowing all between these rocks here, these big boulders, it looks really good. Um, You've got the bridge in the distance over there. I've already taken a picture, um, couldn't talk because this guy is around me fishing. So what I did, I put a 0.3 soft grad, uh, a 0.3 grad to slow it down. Uh, I got the image and then the, uh, the grad just slipped through the filter holder and into the river. So I've lost a grad. Um, so I might go back and see if I can see it, but I couldn't see it. So uh, yeah, that's a three stop grad missing. Good job, it was only KNF and it wasn't a Lee one. So yeah, so I'm gonna, I've taken an image here, uh, ISO 100, uh, would slow, this, slow the river down to about a second anyway. So yeah, this should make a nice image. I'm gonna head down the river now and see what else I can find. this uh, view in front of me here. Uh, I love the light on the rocks here. You've got a good nice cascade over there. Now I'm thinking of this uh, either a portrait or a one-to-one. -one. I think this is going to work as a one-to-one -one crop uh, but look at the light on the rocks here it's just beautiful. Um, and you've got this green grass just uh, leaning over on the uh, left of the frame and these beautiful cascades with nice light on the rocks over there just coming out. Now um, now I've lost my soft gra uh, 0.3 grad. Um, I don't want to go put a six on it, so uh, we'll see what we'll, what I can do with this. But uh, yeah, I mean, it just looks beautiful. pretty cool just looking up the river there and you can see the curve on the bridge right in the far end now I've only got a 16 to 35 mil lens uh, and uh, yeah it's not gonna show like the eye sees it so uh, by putting the wide lens it's just pushing it further back um, it just looks really nice I'm gonna put a 50 mil on this uh, not sure whether it'll work. Um, I just like the uh, the way the rocks right in the uh, centre of the frame there just light up, and the uh, the water coming at you. Not sure if it's going to work. Uh, I, it just looks nice with the bridge right on the uh, far end and the way the light spills in. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, I'll try a 50 mil. If it works, I'll put it up now. Thank you. 
what a nice spot. It's amazing what you can find in your, uh, your own backyard. Never been here before. Beautiful place, really chilled out place. I think one of my favorite uh, photography is shooting rivers. I love doing rivers, especially when rivers are on mountains. Uh, I don't know, something about it. It really looks nice. So yeah, I think this river goes on further down. We'll continue going till I find something. But uh, yeah, really happy I've uh, come down this end there. Uh, it's really nice. That is catching my eye. That looks really nice. I think it's that tree, the way the tree is just uh, rolling over the river there. The way the light is catching the green uh, looks right, really nice. And the, uh, you know, the fast moving water underneath it. Um, I'm gonna possibly put a 50 mil on this and uh, try and get a composition out of this um, using that tree as the top of the frame, the way it just spills over the uh, beautiful fast moving white water underneath it. So yeah, I'm gonna put a 50 mil on and see how that works. So I think I've come to the, uh, as far as I can go, I think. Uh, the river looks pretty flat from there. I think there's a shot here. I like these cascades over here. So uh, I'm gonna take a shot here of this one. Um, I'm thinking of a, I think this will work as a, probably a one-to-one -one or a portrait type of shot. Because if I went wide, there's nothing really much on the uh, left side so uh, yeah I, I think I can fill it as a portrait so uh, I'm gonna take this shot oh boy it's hot and then uh, for the final shot we're gonna head right back and take a picture of the cascades I've done a couple of times before which are beautiful and uh, that'll be the last shot today so uh, yeah I'm gonna oh, I've got sweat going in my eyes I'm going to set up for this and see how this one works out. So yeah, I've gone like a portrait. Uh, probably, I think I am going to go one to one on this one. Like, uh, the uh, sun's tucked in, tucked in behind the trees there, which is okay. Um, it's quite dark here, obviously I'm gonna to have to bracket. I can't put a filter on because of the tree line on the right of the frame, uh, it wouldn't work. So I'm bracketing one each, one each end on this and uh, I'm thinking of cropping in one to one. Um, right in the distance there, you can see the tree uh, and the sheep underneath it. And you've got the rocks here with this lovely cascades coming and a bit of light hitting the uh, water on the front here. And I just love the way this water's just coming down the side here, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm looking at this as a one-to-one -one crop. Right then, so I've come, uh, I've sort of made my way kind of into the water. Um, 
but I can stand here. Um, I've got a nice position here where the water's just flowing. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Um, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to go really low with a tripod, uh, probably in that 35 mil, capture that beautiful water falling down. Uh, you've got nice light on the trees in the background. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So I'm going to go low on this one and uh, yeah, looks beautiful. So that's it for this vlog. Uh, yeah, it was quite a nice afternoon. Uh, beautiful weather. Uh, it was nice just to explore the river. I've never been that far down before. I think I got as far as I can. Uh, I couldn't see any other way uh, through unless I was going on private land, so I'm not too sure. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Um, don't forget, i uh, still got some calendars left for 2021. Um, I think next year's gonna be a good year. I think you're all going to be busy, so uh, you're going to need a calendar to uh, jot down uh, your dates, you know what I mean? Now, if you want a calendar, uh, leave your email below and I'll get back to you uh, and give you more details on it. So, uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic uh, afternoon, beautiful. Uh, so thanks for watching and until next time, bye.